Hey everyone, Dr. D here. In this video, I'm going to explain antigen presentation. Antigen presentation in nucleated cells, your, the cells of your body in general, and antigen presentation on professional antigen presenting cells. Remember, these include the B cells, the dendritic cells, and the macrophages. Macrophages. So let's start with your normal nucleated cells, the nucleated cells of your body. Okay. Remember, those cells have MHC1, major histocompatibility complex 1, on their surface. What is the importance of that? MHC molecules are like trophy cases. MHC molecules can bring antigen from inside of the cell and present it outside. Okay? Now, don't forget, natural killer cells, what they will do, sometimes if cells are sick, they will bring the MHC molecule in. Okay? So the MHC will get internalized. That's what they call it, internalized. Natural killer cells notice the internalization of MHC1 and destroy that cell, okay? But let's talk about what the normal job of MHC1 is, okay? What happens is your nucleated cells are constantly taking a random sampling of proteins and other molecules from inside of the cell, handing those molecules to MHC1 and letting MHC1 present those antigens on the surface. You see this dot I drew right here? That's some antigen, some protein or some antigen that was inside of the cell but was given to the trophy case, MHC1, so it could present it on the outside of the cell. Now you might be wondering why? Well, because these are called self-antigens. These are proteins that should exist inside of your cells. And your white blood cells recognize these self-antigens and don't do anything about it. But what if this cell got infected? Let me grab a different color marker. What if this cell got infected by a virus? Okay, the virus made itself, you know, at home inside of the cell. Well, if that virus were to make more of itself, it would be making viral proteins, correct? Now, what if MHC1, instead of grabbing a self-antigen and presenting that on the surface of the cell, what if it grabbed a non-self-antigen, like a viral antigen? So now what is it presenting on the outside of the cell? That's right, a viral antigen. That's not self, okay? Did the cell know that's that it's presenting something that's non-self? No, but guess what? The white blood cells will recognize that viral antigen as non-self. It'll say, hey buddy, what are you presenting here? That's not supposed to be inside of you. Uh, do you realize you just presented me with some foreign molecule of, you know, a viral, it doesn't know it's a viral molecule, but it knows it's a foreign molecule. Well. You shouldn't have foreign molecules inside of the cell. We, we're going to have to destroy you now. Okay, So that's how the immune system reacts. So what we're going to get into this. We're going to get into this, but it's, it's the uh, cytotoxic T cells, or the sometimes called TC cells. Those are the T cells, the cytotoxic T cells. Uh, these are the T cells that have the specific receptors that can identify non-self antigens and do something and become activated. Does that make sense? So your TC cells or CTL cells, these are your cytotoxic T cells. That's their job. Their job is to find nucleated cells. So your skin cell, your brain cell, your heart cell, nucleated cells scan for their MHC1, and look at what antigen is on it. If a self-antigen is on it, good for you. It moves on. Everything checks out. 
if a non-self antigen, like some viral antigen, is presented, it will recognize that as non-self and it will destroy that cell. It will release granzymes and other, uh, other molecules that uh, promote apoptosis, program cell death in this nucleated cell. Okay, so that's, that's the beauty of it. Now, of course, these TC cells don't, uh, they're gonna need extra help with other signals from other uh, white blood cells in, in order to do that. Uh, they, don't, they don't just get activated right there and then and, and destroy. Usually they need a second handshake, but we'll get to that later on. But that's fundamentally what the uh, cytotoxic T cells are doing. So now let's talk about professional antigen presenting cells. Professional antigen presenting cells, uh, these include the B cells, the dendritic cells, and the macrophages, what they present on their surface is MHC2. There you go. Uh, this is MHC2. And the blue dot I drew is a foreign molecule, all right? So uh, MHC2 presents foreign molecules and MHC2 is not recognized by cytotoxic T cells or CT, uh, TC cells. MHC2 is recognized by a different T cell, okay? In this case, it's called a TH cell or a helper, a helper T cell. Helper T cells have specific T cell receptors that recognize foreign antigen on MHC2. So your B cells, your dendritic cells and macrophages present foreign antigen on MHC2 and that's recognized by T helper cells. So there you go. The difference between MHC1 on your nucleated cells and MHC2 on the professional antigen presenting cells. MHC1 signals to cytotoxic T cells or TC cells. MHC2 signals to helper cells, helper T cells. And remember, only the cytotoxic T cell with the correct T cell and uh, T cell uh, receptor could recognize that antigen. So it might be one in a million, it might be one in 10 million cell that can recognize that specific antigen. Same thing with the helper T cell. Only the helper T cell with the very, very unique T cell receptor is going to recognize that antigen. It might be one in a million helper T cells that recognize that one antigen, or even more rare, okay? Uh, but once that recognition happens, that leads to activation of the TC cell, that leads to activation of the helper T cell, and that spurs the process, right, of adaptive immune system. Uh, or the specific immune system. So this is the difference between the two. I hope that helped. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time.